on this week's episode, a new segment for What's for Lunch, MHS Sports, All New Hype City, a brand new Brazy Time, and more. Welcome back. I'm Jordan. And I'm Emma. And, and this is MHN News. If you received free or reduced meals last year and you feel like you need it again, go to the MHS website. Welcome, I'm Jordan with What's for Lunch. Today I'm going to be showing you what's going on at the CAF at MHS. Today I'm here with... Chris Piercy. And he's going to be showing us how to make the pizza that you guys eat almost every day for lunch. So we have the crust all set up. So the next step, we're gonna brush it in some garlic oil. So next we're gonna put the cheese on top. Spread it all around. And so I decided to do a pepperoni pizza today. And then we'll pop it in the oven. So now you guys know what goes into the pizza making for your school lunch. Anything you wanna add? Yeah, I just want to add that, you know, the hard-working staff here, you know, they fresh bake the pizza every day. Um, you know, a lot of hard work goes into it, so I hope you guys appreciate it. Um, you know, let them know uh, thank you when you see them, for sure. That's it. And that's What's for Lunch at MHN. Archery is soon going to be offered as a course for MHS students. If you're interested, contact Caruso because there are local lessons and all the equipment is provided by the archery team. And now to sports with Sam and Megan. The golf team beat Tejanto 34 to the boys soccer team beat Tingsboro 4 to 1. Harrison Bourgeois scored all four goals. The girls soccer team lost to Hopedale 4 to 1, but Garvey Cummings scored the only goal. Also, the boys soccer team beat Lunenburg 5 to 0. Number four, the field hockey team tied to Murdoch 0 to 0. The girls soccer team lost to Lunenburg 2 to 0. The boys cross country team beat Clinton 21 to 40. And the girls cross country team also beat Clinton 15 to 49. Played an amazing game of football on Friday and beat Hudson 33 to 0. The field hockey team won their first game against Aspen 3 to nothing. Aaron Egan scored twice and Anna Manning scored once. Now back to you. Emma, how do you feel about Halloween coming up? Well, Halloween isn't my favorite holiday, but I do like making jack-o'-lanterns and taking the pumpkin seeds out of the jack-o'-lanterns and toasting them and eating them. What about you, Jordan? I love Halloween because I get to eat a bunch of candy and it's cool to see all the different costumes. Woo! And now to Brazil time. Hi, I'm Mela and back again with Brazil time. Is that Today, we're going to learn how to say good morning, good afternoon, and good night in Portuguese. Bom dia means good morning. Bom dia. Boa tarde means good afternoon. Boa tarde. The last one, good night, it's boa noite. Back again to the studio. Missions for the Little Mermaid begin next week, Monday through Wednesday. Make sure you get your audition sheets in. country is Qatar because I love oil. Yeah, my favorite country is good old Russia. Why? Because it's cold. My favorite country is Italy because of <laughs> the food and just the accent the way it is. My favorite country is Turkey because I like turkey sandwiches of mayo. Our own Nicole Stout has been working with Adam Williams from Channel 7 on a project she calls Peacock with Flying Colors. The project features Adam's hot air balloon. Let's take a look. And now to Hype City. What up Hype City? We're back for episode 3, so let's get straight into the news right now.
with many rappers like Louis Vert, Post Malone, and Kanye West adopting the title of a rock star. Amidst this, a subgenre has a, of rap has emerged, emo rap. Let's take a look right now. Artists like XXX, Tentacion, Trippy Red, and Lil Peep have been combining 90s and 2000s emo music with trap beats to create some raw emotional tracks. I'll be feeling pain just started the emo rap movement with his groundbreaking album, 808s and Heartbreaks, and since then many rappers have followed in this direction. <laughs> XXX Tentacion's debut album, 17, was one of the first full emo rap albums, and it hit the top charts at number one. And that's it for this episode of Hype City, and we're going to kick it straight back to our people in the studio right now. Let's kick it! Help support the Melissa Saliner Music Scholarship by attending the Benefit Dance on November 4th at the Maynard Rotten Gun Club. And now to Fashion Mania. Ooh, yeah. big, big head on the <laughs> Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. Gucci gang. Spread their rats on new chain. What is up, guys? It is Diego here, your host from Fashion Mania, and I'm here with Drew. And today, we're going to be talking about the NMD Black Gum Bottoms. Let's get to it. These shoes are about $170 retail and $240 resale. Just like the last video, these shoes do have another colorway and we're going to show it to you right here in Drew's forehead. <laughs> these shoes were released January of 2017 and are extremely comfortable. That's all for this week on Fashion Mania. Now back to the studio. Ooh, yeah. big, big head on the <laughs> Gucci gang, 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 Gucci gang. Spread their rats on new chains. This week's fun fact is about Halloween. In a few American towns, Halloween was also known as Cabbage Night. For Halloween this year, Emma and I are going to be Curious George. I'm going to be the big man with the yellow hat. I'm going to be the monkey. We're excited to hear about your costume, so comment below what your costume might be. Anyways, catch you on the flip side, Maynard. That was MHN News.